Macau, a city built on casino. Before the pandemic, here used to be full of people on the streets and inside the casinos. But now, it looks dull and deserted, especially against the dazzling lights. I was seriously going to make you guys a Macau tourism and food video. However, it made me begin looking at the city from another angle. It started with the taxi I took on the first day in Macau. I'm a chatty person, okay? I was asking the taxi driver whether he's doing okay with his taxi business. And when I started talking about how gamblers rarely win in the casinos, how they always lose money. Not me, not me, not me. I don't, I don't, I don't gamble. What he told me completely overturned my perception. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty much the basic psychological fact that we probably all know. But the one thing he told me and I never realized before was Feng Shui. He said feng shui setup is everywhere in Macau, especially in the casinos. Ancient practice still play a role in people's lives in China, especially among the Cantonese people. These are just some household feng shui setup that I saw on the streets in Macau. Apparently, in feng shui, mirror can be used to block the sha qi, which refers to hostile energy due to poor landforms or built up structures. And sha qi can affect your fortunes, and the continuous exposure to sha qi may be harmful, according to feng shui. And for these people living on both sides of the streets in Macau, the cars and the people walking by are sha qi to them. That's why they put a mirror on their balcony to block the sha qi coming into their house. My point is, you see the general public is already like practicing the feng shui. Wouldn't the casino do the same? I'm not trying to be superstitious and what I'm going to say next has no scientific basis. So yeah, believe it or not, just hear me out. Before I tell you about this whole feng shui thing about Macau, I'm gonna show you a clip of the respectful Stanley Ho, the godfather of gambling, who owns 19 casinos in Macau. Cantonese people, they believe in five things. They say that yat meng, yat meng, yi wan ni yun, sam feng shui, sei jik yam tak, un duk shi which is completely rubbish. Don't believe it at all. Only the fifth one is really education. And Mr. Ho said he was not a believer of feng shui, but his casinos are not saying the same. On the surface, feng shui, it's often referred to as the art of placement. How you place your furniture, possessions, and yourself within your surroundings matters a lot. People believe that feng shui setup can offer a unique way of bringing balance, harmony, and even fortunes in a manner that's difficult to achieve by other means. But what I do notice is that for many billionaires in China, they will hire a feng shui master before they purchase a new house or select a new location for their company. From my own understanding, I think it's more of a theory of symbol. Take this as an example. This is a famous show at William Macau, The Fortune Tree, built with pure gold. It's said to be blooming your wealth at a glance, but take a closer look. You see there are mice on or beside each animal. You're probably wondering, so what, just a mouse? But what is mouse in Cantonese and in feng shui? Mouse is not a good sign in feng shui. A mouse is pronounced as shu in Cantonese, which sound the same as loose, shu. I don't know if it's already in my subconscious mind. When I saw the video show on the roof, I got this an auspicious feeling. I didn't view it as a scattered flowers, but they look more like slicing blades to me. What do you think? The more observable feng shui setups are the look of the buildings and the casinos. This is the old Lisboa Casino. The architecture shape and exterior design is like a big bird cage. The gamblers who enter the casino have become birds in the cage. This is what the taxi driver told me, okay? I didn't make this up. 
And then after he told me the story, I did a little bit of research on the internet on myself. Apparently, there is even continuous feng shui battle between the Wayne Macau and Lee Spoil Casino. When Wayne got its gambling license in 2002, they built their hotels and casinos according to feng shui principle to compete with Lee Spoil. Wayne built a fountain in the square in front of the gate to attract fortune. Because in feng shui, water is money, water is fortune. More classically, the screen sign facing Wayne is like a bird's tail and the sign facing Lisboa is like seven knives put together. Is this just a coincidence? But the more I see, the more it got me. Mr. Ho immediately bought the land next to Wayne and built a new Lisboa casino to crack Wayne's feng shui setup. I mean, don't you think the look of this new Lisboa casino is kind of weird? Like a huge fish tank with a sword on it. Cantonese people like to call customers shui yu, which means water fish that are getting slaughtered on the chopboard. Pretty much the moment people step into the gate of Lisboa, they become a water fish. And the building on top of the fish tank is actually an artificial water fountain, which to suck up the water from the ground. And remember I told you before, water is money and fortune. Whether you believe it or not, you can easily observe the trace and signs of it at every corner in Macau. Especially the names of the retail stores, such as Add More Luck, Get Luckier, Must Win. They are all auspicious names, even the food. Anyway, having said so much, I think it's time to give you guys some tips from the locals to help you get luckier in the casino. You think if you go the after all, these are just theory. You don't have to believe it. And like I said, there's no scientific basis behind this. And the real reason why people rarely win in the casino is because all these games are designed statistically and mathematically against you. The chances of casinos winning money are always greater than the gamblers. Money never fall on trees. There is no shortcut to success. Same as making money. So work hard and study hard. And finally, wish you guys a happy new year 